Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is The Whites. Welcome back to another video of Java Essential Training Series. So this video is going to be about Java.io package. Java.io package contains nearly every class you might ever need to perform input and output in Java. All these streams represent an input source and an output destination. The stream in the Java.io package supports many data such as primitives, objects, localized characters and so on. So in this video, we're going to learn how to create a file and how to write a file, okay? So, I have this main class and a main method here. So let's go and create a new class. Right click here, new Java class. And I'm going to name it create f. All right, so we have this class now. Before we start working and using java.io class package, we need to import some classes from there. So. I'm going to click here and then import and I'll say java.io and then I need a file class okay and then another one import java.io.print writer class okay so if you want to find out uh, what are these classes files so if you click here control click and now uh, it will tell you some information about it what are these things so I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to press control Q in IntelliJ IDEA so here is the information about that class so basically uh, that uses the interface interface and operating system use dependent all that information is here so you can read through it but I will explain to you while we create a project so we have two classes now okay so here let's go down to our class now here I'm going to declare a method so public wide and let's say I will say my file I'll maybe create create file okay one okay and then add parentheses and then add a code block here so we have the method now now I'm going to use that file class so to create an object from this class type file and then your name of the object so I'll send it my file is equal to new and then file again and then add double quotation here you need to type the name of the text file okay so I will say my file one dot txt okay so we have created an object with that file name right so now we're gonna check that if that file already exists on that uh, folder then what it should do so let's create an condition statement here so if okay I will use that sign and then I will say my file dot exist exist is a matter which checks if that exists or not then what it should do then it should create a file. If that file doesn't exist, then it should create a file. So how to create a file? It's very simple. All you have to do is just use your object name dot create new file and that's it. Now we get the error. That's an exception error. If you haven't watched my previous video about the exception, I would highly recommend to go back in and watch that so you understand what is these exceptions are. So here to fix that, I can just click on this and then add an exception method to this okay so here that's the uh, exception method now whatever the exception this file creation give me it will throw that away all right so we have created our new file now and then i'm going to give the else condition here as well so let's say else so what it should do if that doesn't happen then i'll say file already exist okay so let me explain that to you so compiler comes here and sees an object with that file name it comes down here and it sees that if that file this file doesn't exist then what it should do it should create a new file and what if that file exists it should print out that message that file already exists okay so now let's go and run the program I'm gonna go back to my main class and here you will uh, create an object for that class and then new i will say obj is equal to new create f oops create f semicolon and then here we'll use that obj dot and then we'll see create file one method okay again we have that up uh, exception error click here add that exception to our program okay so you could use the try and catch block as well but i will explain that i don't want to go through that so all right so now let's run the program 
now it didn't print out any message because that file name didn't exist so if i run my program again it should say that file already exists because the last time we ran the program it created a file so let's say go back here and then here i want to say if that condition comes true then it should tell us that the file is being created so the file has been created okay so let's go back now and let's run the program again it should say file already exists so right click here and then go to show in explorer and then in this create file folders you should see that file my file one okay that was created so we have created a file we know how to create a file now so now let's learn how to write something in that file so let's go back to this class and here I would say now I will use uh, my print writer class again and then I will create an object so let's say print writer and let's say we name the object write write file okay is equal to new print and then here I will type the object name what I want to use so the my object name is my file okay on the top you can see that all right so here we have created our print writer object now now to write that into the file we will use write file object dot and I will use there are a bunch of uh, ways you can write in the file okay but for now we just look at print ln okay so I will write let's say I will say this is my first file and well let's say hello YouTube this is my first file okay right so now when you open the file because you are opening the file with that method and with that object here just remember that you have to close the file as well so how to close the file because when you fall open any file in the computer of course you close yeah before you shut down the computer so same in java before you uh, run the program you need to make sure that compiler should see this line so i would say write file dot close okay so what we'll do it will close that file now let's go back to our main class and then just run it all right so the file already existed okay so that's why it went to this statement okay but i just want to let's say comment this out so let's say comment this out and all right so now let's go back and then run the program again and it should not display any message but let's go to our file show in explorer and let's go to this and then my file.txt so as you can see that the the text has been written into the file hello youtube this is my first file so that was a simple way to write the text to a file okay for now i'm going to finish this tutorial here but for the next video you guys make sure that to watch it complete because i'm going to create a program which will basically uh, check the file and if that exists it will ask us what do you want to write in the file if that doesn't exist then it will create a file and then ask us what to write in that file so make sure to watch that and for now take care and thanks for watching again and so don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers